This game recap is brought to you by Manscaped's Foot Duster Foot Deodorant. Say goodbye to stinky foot funk with this essential deodorant spray. Head over to manscaped.com and use the promo code SACCITY for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. The Foot Duster Foot Deodorant by Manscaped. The best protection any place below the waist. Next game on our list it is the Philadelphia Eagles defeating the Washington Commanders 24 to 8. We got a safety in this game from the Commanders that bumped their score up to 8. Um, but other than that, it was a good performance from the Philadelphia Eagles uh, to, to win 24 to 8. Jalen Hurts had a very good day. Uh, the team, the defense looked good. I thought that was a big, a big bright spot for the Eagles here. Um, something I want to talk about, though, before, like, I, before we get into your takes here, are you concerned at all for the for the Eagles offense not performing in the second half of games? I mean, we saw it against the Lions where they did where they struggled in the second half. We saw it this week against the Commanders where they struggled in the second half where there really just wasn't much going on. It's it's something that they have done. They've scored 24 first half points in three straight games. Like th- that that's the thing. So they didn't score a single point after that in this game. And is it just, is that concerning at all? No. Okay. No, right. not uh, teams let off the gas that it happens. You can get complacent. Uh, they did put up 14 points in the second half of that Lions game. So um, it was in the third quarter, but I, I think they get a little complacent. Um, I, I think part of the issue is they are not a very good, just turn around and hand the football off team. Like their run game is, is the best in football, right? We know that, but part of it is because of Jalen Hurts' ability to escape. If they just line up under center and need to milk the the clock away, the run game is designed a little bit different. So when teams know you're ahead and you're trying to run the football and they're going to play defense differently. um, And I think that's what's, what's happened here. Um, But no, I I don't, not, not seriously. I don't have any concerns. If it continues um, and they start giving up leads or if they're not scoring as much in the first half and still struggling to score in the second half where teams are adjusting and they are not, that could be an issue, but I'm not really seeing that yet. Um, so I'm not, I'm not overly concerned about it. Were you impressed with the Eagles defense? You have been known on this show to talk, uh, to have your questions, not your, not dogging them. You're not hating on them, but you want to see it from this defense. And so far, They've had a great – their secondary played phenomenal against the Eagle or against the uh, Vikings last week on Monday Night Football. This week it seemed like their pass rush was looking good with nine sacks on Carson Wentz. Uh, are you starting to get impressed with the Philadelphia Eagles defense? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, I still want them to play an offense that I um, – see as a good offense. I'm mean, not saying Minnesota's offense isn't good, but that I that I live up to my standard. And this is just a me thing. Um, I will be interested to see how they play. And I, I don't I don't know when they play that. Um, matter of fact, I don't know that they play a good offense for a while, um, if at all this year. So maybe we don't really get that answer if they can continue to put up games like this. I don't think they have many high-powered offenses on their schedule. So uh, but as of right now, when you give up eight points and you give up seven points and yeah, you have to be impressed. So I, I am impressed with the defense. They're putting pressure on the quarterback. Um, anytime you can record nine sacks in a game, that's a big deal. Um, so yeah, Philly, I told you was one of my teams that's moving up. Um, I believe they're a good football team. I believe they are a playoff team at this point. Um, it's really now about, are you contending with the top teams and do you, can you make that Super Bowl run? And I think that's what we're going to assess here over the next, you know, five or six weeks. I think the Eagles took a nice step forward into solidifying themselves as an elite offense in this game. We saw a breakout performance, not a breakout performance I like for a career, but this season a breakout performance from Devontae Smith, who is my player of the game. 12 targets, 8 receptions, 169 yards, and a touchdown uh, in this game. It's been a lot of A.J. Brown talk to start the season, who A.J. Brown still had a – he had a great day as well. Um, but Devontae Smith in this game – was special he was getting open he we we saw exactly what we we all had hoped for Devonte smith as like like the player coming out of college from alabama he was explosive he was playmaking that's what we saw in this game uh against the eagles where he was going up getting jump balls making plays for the philadelphia eagles offense and this is this is huge i think this is going to go a long way for 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 me with this offense now with the rushing attack being arguably the best in the nfl 
And now you see AJ Brown, five receptions, 85 yards and a touchdown. Devontae Smith doing what he did. Dallas Goddard got in the end zone. Like this is this offense is is very good. This offense is starting to really climb up my ranks for best offense in the league. Obviously not best, best offense in the league, but I think it it has a a shot right up there, at least top five in the, in the league in terms of offenses. Um, I think that that's what we're what we're seeing here uh, on the commander side. Any takeaways from them? Is it just status quo with them? <laughs> it's Carson Wentz. Um, there was one point in this game, the the Washington Commanders had forty total yards, and Devontae Smith had like one hundred and sixty, like yep. <laughs> um, yep. some 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 crazy number like that. Yep. I, Listen, I, I'm not here to, to to bash Carson Wentz anymore. Like I, you guys know what I feel about Carson Wentz. And Antonio Gibson, Curtis Samuel, JD McKissick, Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson, first round draft pick, Logan Thomas is back. We talk about putting weapons around a quarterback. This was the car argument. He didn't have weapons in Philly. Moved to New Indianapolis. Well, he only has Michael Pittman, but he has the best running back in football. Best offensive line, the great defense, but he just doesn't have enough weapons to throw to. Like it's it's not Carson Wentz. Now he comes to Washington, and, and they have a ton of weapons on Washington. Like the players on Washington, I'm telling you, if, if you put those players on another team's, Jahan Dotson's, the Terry McLaurin's, the Curtis Samuels, Antonio Gibson, the Brian Robinson's not even even you know he's he'll be back soon. JD McKissick is that good out of the backfield? Th- there's no excuse. You are supposed to elevate this team. And you are just like every other guy. You're Taylor Heineke, but with red hair. I I, I don't, I, I'm just, I'm over it. I'm over it. Can we just please stop with the Carson Wentz is going to be something. He's, he's not. He's not. I don't care that he threw three touchdowns last week in a loss. Like, he's not anything. Like, at the end of the day, nine sacks as a quarterback is not acceptable. No matter what your offensive line is like, throw the ball away. Do something. Don't throw it to the other team. Make your team better. I don't know. Something. It, it, it's something, anything. Give us more. Give us something, Carson Wentz. Give Where's us... all those Washington Commanders people that were on YouTube in the offseason telling me that this was going to change their team? That's all. I just I just find it real funny that everybody's afraid after they make these stupid takes to come and, and be, be vocal about it after they're wrong. I'm here every day, and I'm going to continue to say that. For all the fans, I'm here every day. When I'm wrong, come tell me. When I'm right, I want to see you. 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 And I don't see. I don't see Washington fans anywhere right now. Where's Dante? Ooh. Where's Dante? I know. I know Dante doesn't. Not a huge fan of Carson Wentz. But I'm just saying, like this guy. There's a reason why he's had a turd on his put, head since he's been in Washington. Put in Sam Howell. Start that train right now. Put in Sam Howell. They Start building just, towards the future. They should have just traded for Jimmy G in the offseason, like the report said. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> not that it would have been much better, but hey. No, no, not at all. Yeah.